Hi guys, I want to talk to you about my experience with therapy when I was recovering from my eating disorder. I just, I feel like other people feel the same way as what I felt when I was in sit-down verbal therapy and I want to suggest new ideas and what I did and what really, really helped me. So for those of you who don't know, I suffered severely with an eating disorder for about three years and back in 2013 I decided to start my journey to recovery. So I had a doctor, a dietitian, nutritionist, and three therapists. Two of them were specialized in eating disorder and one was specialized in addiction. So they were very, they were awesome, they were lovely, I connected with them, but I just didn't connect to the process of sit-down verbal therapy. I felt as if I was trapped in this room and as I spoke, my words would come out and they would just surround me and they would be stuck in the room. I didn't feel like I was moving forward and I know the purpose of therapy is not to solve your problems per se, like it's not to have your therapist take your problems and, and make them go away or just completely fix it for you. It's something you have to do and they can suggest things and make you feel supported and validated, but ultimately it's you that needs to actually um, put the energy into fixing your mindset and doing what you can and accepting what you can't change. But at the time, I wanted my therapist to fix me. I wanted them to fix my situation and they couldn't. And I felt so helpless sitting in this room and having all of these problems just swarm me and just sit there and my therapist would say, I'm really sorry to hear that. I wish there was something I could do, like your feelings are completely validated and that's amazing. They they were amazing therapists, but it just wasn't working for me. I left the therapy office each day just feeling very hopeless because I know, I knew that there was nothing I could do and that all I had to do was accept. But I was in a really sticky situation and I wanted change. I just, I wanted a more proactive, physical form of therapy. So with all my love to them, I left all my therapists and I decided to take therapy into my own hands. What I decided to do was walk, literally walk off my problems. And sometimes I would walk with a friend or my mom or someone um, I met at the hospital who also suffers with an eating disorder and we would just walk and, and talk and discuss, see what we can do and what we can't do. I felt as if when I was walking, and I was walking in nature, so I felt very grounded, um, and I just, the scenery was beautiful, I felt very calm and um, vulnerable, and as I was walking and speaking and listening, I didn't feel as if my problems were just sitting there, like sitting on my shoulders, sitting in the room. I felt as if when I was walking, my problems were being left behind, that they were on the trail behind my feet and I was walking forward and it was a very physical proactive mindset that I I felt that my problems were behind me and that I all I could do was move forward that really really helped me and as I was walking forward I was seeing even more beautiful sights and not being fogged by these awful mindsets breathing fresh air earthing getting sunlight, those are all things that scientifically enhance your mood and balance the rhythm of your body. Plus, at that time, I was very unhealthy and I couldn't do any physical, like, intense physical activity. Physical activity does make you feel better, it makes you feel more confident, happy, you, you sweat it out and just feel good, but I couldn't do that because I didn't have the energy and I actually wasn't allowed to, I wasn't allowed to exercise. So walking was a good gentle way to exercise and just keep my body and mindset healthy. Mental illnesses are tricky. You could take medication, but ultimately it's your mindset because it is mental that is going to make you feel better and recovered if that's what you believe in. I wanted my therapist to just take a band-aid and, and cover my, my mind with it. <laughs> but that's not possible, so I really had to 
take things into my own hands and see what works for me. And now I have so many different forms of therapy that I use to cope and just enhance my mood, um, like painting and doing yoga. And right now it's especially painting because first of all, the weather is not that nice outside. So um, my walks are short or <laughs> it's just too cold. So I like painting because I can express myself and have this meditation of being focused on my painting and not um, the thoughts in my mind. And then once I'm done with my painting, I have something tangible, like I've, I've created something. Whereas when I left my therapist's office, I, I wanted something tangible, but I just felt nothing. I felt like my hands were empty and everything was still on my shoulders, but when I paint or draw, I feel like I have something to show for my meditation. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but just try different ways to enhance your mood and to feel better and just do things in a meditative state, putting all of your focus, just focusing on putting one foot in front of the other or moving your paintbrush or flowing with yoga, just doing meditative practices like that, staying in the present moment and leaving the past and all of your, your negative thoughts behind, it really helps, trust me. I will make more videos in the future of how I recovered from my eating disorder and um, my struggle with my eating disorder, but it has taken me a long time to actually find the words. It is a hard subject for me to talk about in front of a camera, um, but I really, really would like to share some tips with you guys because it's a horrible thing and so many people and increasingly more people are suffering with eating disorders and this needs to end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are well and happy and enjoying your day. Can you have this? Yeah. I mean, you can't have this, but... Yeah, well, actually, I, I can. I can yeah, have anything I, can I want. Have it, but I just don't prefer to because it doesn't yeah. flow with my morals.